What if humanity vanished? Cities fall silent, highways empty, screens go dark. For the first time in thousands of years, Earth breathes without us. But nature never leaves a void. Every niche, every shadow, every abandoned building would soon be claimed. The question isn't if something would rise. The question is who or what. In this episode, we imagine Earth without us and the strange airs that could take our place. When we think of rulers, we imagine creatures that walk, fly, or hunt. But not all power moves quickly. Some of it creeps. Fungi are quiet conquerors. They live where most life cannot, in caves, frozen tundra, even inside the Chernobyl reactor. Some eat oil, others can digest plastic. They've been here long before us, and they'll remain long after. The largest living organism today is not a whale or a redwood. It is a fungus, a single underground web stretching for kilometers beneath Oregon's forests. Imagine dozens of those networks expanding without limits. If we vanish, fungi will reclaim the world. Wood houses sprouting mushrooms, concrete towers turning to dust under fine threads of mycelium. Subways glowing with pale gardens, spores drifting like stars in the dark. It would not be a civilization like ours. No machines, no monuments. But it would be everywhere. Slow, patient, unstoppable. But where fungi rule in silence, others would rise with sound, with wings, swarms, and endless hunger. Insects already rule by numbers. For every human, there are 200 million insects. Ants outweigh us. Termites raise towers taller than people. Locust swarms can turn day into night. Without humans, insects would inherit the open world. Ant super colonies could spread across continents. Termites could fill skyscrapers with hive chambers. Bees and butterflies would bloom in fields left untended. And given time, Evolution could push them further. Colonies might think as one. Hive minds could shape entire ecosystems to their needs. Picture forests alive with a constant drone. Cities reborn as termite citadels. Bridges wrapped in silk and glowing with swarms. It would be a planet ruled not by single creatures, but by multitudes. Yet some heirs wouldn't feel alien. They already share our homes and our scraps. If we vanish, they'll be the first to claim the ruins. Rats have followed us everywhere, on ships, in sewers, in subway tunnels. They live in our walls, climb our towers, eat what we eat, and dodge our traps. If we disappear, rats will pour into the open. Cities would become their empire. Supermarkets, factories, and apartments echoing with squeaks and claws. With no poisons or predators, their numbers would explode. Then change would come. Rats adapt quickly. In time, they could split into new forms. Some might grow larger, becoming predators in forests. Others could form packs, hunting like wolves. A few might even grow smarter, learning to use tools as crows and primates do today. Picture a ruined subway, trains rusting in place, tunnels alive with colonies. Imagine a skyline where the tallest tower is home not to bankers, but to millions of rodents ruling in daylight. They wouldn't just survive us, they'd replace us. But maybe the next heirs won't walk on land at all. They might already be waiting in silence, in the deep, with minds as strange as any alien Octopuses are already legends of intelligence. They open jars, solve puzzles, use tools. Each arm has its own memory. Their nervous system is so unusual that scientists call them aliens on Earth. If humans vanish, octopuses could rise further. Not as loners, but as builders. Over millions of years, they might grow into ocean rulers. Picture coral towers shaped into homes. 
trails of glowing bioluminescence marking paths across the seafloor. Clans of octopuses meeting in glowing domes, passing knowledge from one generation to the next. It would not look like our world, no fire, no metal, but it could be a civilization, flexible, fluid, and strange. A future where oceans we barely understand become the heart of intelligence on Earth. So who inherits Earth? Fungi spreading under our feet, insects swarming the land, rats filling our cities, octopuses claiming the oceans. Or maybe none of them. Maybe the future has no single ruler. Life might spread in every direction, wild and unplanned. The real heirs could be smaller. Microbes, bacteria, or even new forms of life born from our ruins. Life doesn't stop. It adapts. It surprises. Earth without us wouldn't be empty. It would be stranger, wilder, and more unexpected than we can imagine. What do you think? Who inherits the Earth after humans? If you liked this journey, stick around. On Brain Buzz, we dive into the surprising, the strange, and the just plain cool. From fascinating facts to wild what-if scenarios, hit like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and for being part of Brain Buzz.